Howdy, I'm John Richmond, and I'm the inventor of the Sluice Goose Industries Gold Drop Gold and Pay Dirt Separating Processor. Today's video demonstration comes from courtesy of Colorado Mike. He told his friend Colorado Steve about his results, and so Colorado Steve sent me this material. This is uh, sluice concentrates from a creek that they mine up in the Colorado mountains. So we'll process this sand through the gold drop and see what gold is in it. This is the system I had set up for indoors. I have four five gallon buckets. So as the tailings discharge from the gold drop down the magnet sluice into the tailings basket there, into the tailings bucket. So the water then siphons over to another bucket, then that siphons over to another bucket. And that allows for greatest amount of sedimentation to occur to eliminate the solids in the water. Though it still may be dirty, it won't be heavy in solids to prevent the pump from being harmed and then also from plugging up and seizing the indicator on the meter. So I've got the drop water set at 0.2 and a little bit of mixing water going on. Not too much though. So now we'll start feeding in the dirt. We're done processing now, so basically I'm just going to wait until all the brown sand clears away from the magnetite. And then I'll go ahead and scrape it clean and see if it's locked inside the magnetite. Now we'll see what's in the jar. I let it run pretty low on the drop water in order to get, you know, a little bit of mineral in there. A little bigger mineral anyway. So now we'll use the uh, gold claw and we'll dump the overburden over the back side as we're fluidizing heavily. You can go up to vertical because those riffles are sticking up at you at a 45 when you're vertical. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and wash out the big riffles back down into the pan. And now we'll slowly dump out the big mineral that's here. That's kind of cool. You can actually see the gold in the riffles there. Down the small riffle. So let's finish cleaning up, take a look. Okay, that's about good. Well, we're seeing quite a bit of gold there. Uh, let's see, maybe some of this is magnetite. Let me see if the spindle off will remove it.
Yeah, there was a little magnetite there. So now that's gone. Well, you, there you have it. There's the gold out of Colorado. No, this Colorado Steve, that's right. That's pretty cool, no doubt. Let me spread it out a little better here. Get a little better flavor for what the gold looks like there. Well, there it is. Now we'll have to check out the sluice and see what escaped. To see what we got in the sluice, we'll shut off the water, shut everything down. Remove the dams. Scrape the magnetite into the pan. Now well, let's see what's in here. So we'll start this process by removing the magnetite to spin it off. And we'll go ahead and drain it off, see how much we got in here. Okay. Let's get rid of this overburden. Okay. Gold recovered from Colorado Steve's Creek Run Sluice Concentrates. There's pretty a bit of gold there. Flower gold included. That's pretty cool. So, there wasn't much in the uh, sluice, no flakes or anything, but here's what I recovered there. Let me get rid of the water. Yeah, let's see if we can get it out of the way. This is this is the ore. This is that gold ore that I've been recovering. Say so maybe you can see a few flakes there in that stuff, but that's that's basically the loss out of the gold drop. Not much there. 
Let's find out how much gold was in Steve's sluice concentrates. This is from 50 pounds of sand processed in about oh, 20 minutes. Wow, 1.1 grams. That's not. That's pretty good, actually, out of 50 pounds. So, there you have it. 1.1 grams. Some pretty small stuff in there, too. So, that's what we got. I think they'll be happy with that. So, thanks for watching, and thanks for being interested. www.sluicegooseindustries.com